Okay, hi, welcome to my channel, Taco Yakitero. Today is May 17th, still. May 17th, Friday, 2024. So I have like one little video up earlier that I, I posted earlier. It's like a three minute video. Um, so that's there. But aside from that, before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you and gives you clarity, great. If it does not, then don't force it to be your story. Okay, so I haven't been talking about my dreams lately. And um, there's a reason for that, but I do want to share part of a dream that I had last night. Um, but first, I want to do like a little shout out to like all the support that I've been getting for my channel. I really appreciate that. It makes me happy. So thank you. Like the likes, the comments, the shares, um, the views and all that stuff. As for the comments, like I read all the comments. I may not approve all the comments, but I read all the comments. Um, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Because it fills my time up, right? But aside from that, um, so yeah, I want to talk about a dream that I had. So in this dream, I had like blondish golden hair and like I could see it in the mirror. I could see it in my reflection and like people were like noticing my hair and looking at my hair and, and the entire time. I wanted to dye my hair back to its original color. Obviously, my hair is dark. I have dark hair. And so in the in the dream, the entire time, I wanted to dye my hair its original color. But it was like this golden yellow color. And everywhere I went, people kept looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. And it was just garnering this attention, right? Um, and yeah, I just wanted to dye my hair. So I... Wow, that's a big bug. I looked it up and it basically. Hold on, because now I gotta get it again. So, for the most part, collective, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, so, to dream of gold hair can suggest financial gain, um, but it also represents like purity, joy, innocence. Um, Something about eternity, beauty, grace, right, and in the dream people were, everywhere I went people were like looking at me and they were just like stuck looking at me, like they just couldn't not look at me and um, it was definitely a little uncomfortable because of all like that attention, but at the same time there was like a, a woman or something like around hovering like she just kept saying like diet back diet back diet back diet back like I was already like wanting to dye my hair back the original color because like this hair color was like giving me like attention so you might not be used to attention or you might not like being in the eye collective um, you might be getting attention, you might be garnering attention, whatever it is, but there's like someone around you that doesn't like the attention that you're getting, they don't want you to have that attention, and it's like if you're not comfortable with that attention, there's a, uh, I don't know, it was, in my dream it was a woman, for some of you it could be a masculine, a man, but so it's like if you're not already comfortable with that kind of attention somebody is like pushing you to like stay out of that limelight and it's kind of like well if you're not used to the attention why are you in the why are you in the limelight don't be in the attention or don't get this attention blah blah blah, blah. I don't know it's like somebody is like trying to amp like if you're not feeling comfortable they're trying to amp that up and like just die back die back die back die back but it's like in a way like that's not something you have control over because my hair was the whatever hair color it was I wanted to dye it back I was looking for hair dye right but for some reason I couldn't like start the process of dyeing my hair back it's kind of like what's already started already started you can't go back 
So if you're already getting like a attention or recognition or accolades, um, I feel like for a lot of you it's like recognition. Like you're finally getting recognized for the work that you're doing or um, like rewarded for the work that you're doing and you've already done the work. There's no going back. And someone is just like dye back, dye back, dye back. And then the dream, I'm, I'm like trying to dye my hair back. I'm trying to find like the right hair dye, but I, I couldn't. And it's kind of like what's already, like the work that you've already been doing, it's already being recognized. There's no going back from it. Hi, my love. No, 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 no. I don't want you to thank you. Right? So that's that. Uh, <laughs> what? Bike? Your bike is over there, my love. No. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. Shark? There? Baby, your shark is in the room. Yeah. So, right, that's that. Something is already, like, I don't know, somebody is, like, trying to, like, have you not get a reward or recognition or attention, but it's already, like, happening. It's already there. I should have put another lemon in that. I'm not, I'm not opening that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to start pulling cars now. I had other dreams too last night, but um, I had a dream last night, right? And again, I haven't been talking about my dreams lately uh, because the things I've been seeing in my dreams is just like what? But and the one dream I had yesterday. I was eating, I was eating something. It was like french fries with like a gravy and nacho cheese. It's like really good actually. Kind of like poutine in a way, but not really poutine. And I didn't eat all of it. And I kind of just like discarded the rest. And like three people came like vultures and were like eating my, my, crumbs my leftovers they were like devouring it and it was like all over their faces the one woman had like really really long thin fingernail or fingers and she had like long nails and she was just like hunched over and i was just looking at them i'm like ew like that's gross i don't know just the way they were like so somebody could be like after your leftovers like i don't know it was just the way they were eating it was like gross like not only are you eating my leftovers, but, like, just the way they were, like, eating it. Like, they were devouring my leftovers. First of all, french fries as leftovers, it's that's I, it's not good. French fries are one of those things that you just don't, like... If you don't eat all your french fries, like, then you just throw the rest out. Because, like, honestly, like, leftover french fries, reheated french fries, it's just nasty. It's, I don't know, that's just me. But... It was, I was just looking at them, like, with disgust because, like, the way they were eating my leftovers, like, it was just gross. So that's that. That was, that was yesterday's dream, right? So if I do a reading on that, uh, I might do another reading later. I'll do it based on that dream. Because they came swooping in, like... Anyways, I'm not going to answer that. But anyway, so the dream that I had, well, one of the dreams I had last night, because I had, like, a couple of them. Um, so, yeah, it was about the hair. I don't know. She was, like, hovering on my left side. But it's weird because the woman wasn't as big as she thought she might be or th felt like she was. In reality, her entire, like, presence was maybe about, like, that big. And it was just, like, this black mass of negativity. It was a woman. But it was, like, a little black mass of negativity. But it was, like, that big. It wasn't... Mom, yes, my love. Can I repeat your chalk? 
That's your heart. <laughs> She's so cute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay. Um, so, yeah. It was... I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's symbolic of, like, whoever this woman is. Like, she doesn't have the amount of power that she has over you or had over you. Or she never... Maybe she thought she had more power than she actually did. Being able to, like, convince you to do this, do that, do this, do that. But it's more along the lines of, it's not really convincing you. Like, it's not like this per I just saw 151. It's not like this person can be like, oh, do this and you're going to do it. It's like, they have to already sense or feel that you feel some type of way. Or have some sort of, like, anxiety or fear or... Uh, insecurity or something like that and it's like they'll they'll play on that because that's that's the power or that's like that's their tactics or manipulation of the power that's what they were doing so it's not like this person can outright say like oh I don't know go over there and then you'll go over there it's like if they sense that you want to go somewhere They'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, go, 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 right? Something like that. Look, false offer, like, false offer came out. Hold on. Whoa, look, insecure came out. Insecure. And then hiding in plain sight. Yes, my love. I will help you with this. You got to be careful, though. Is that better? You gotta be careful. Okay? Are you good? Hold on. Um, hold on. There we go. I feel like that's a little bit better. There you go. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Um, the card says insecure that came out. False offer. And hiding in plain sight. So I feel like when it says hiding in plain sight, this person, they're trying to like figure out if you have any insecurities, if you have any fears, if you have any doubts, so that way they can like play on that. Because they don't really have true power. They can't outright say, oh, do this or do that, or don't do this, don't do that. They have to have some sort of inkling, like if you want to do this, right, it'll be easy for them to like, but it's, it's not like anything that's good for you. It, it's more along the lines of like, insecurities or scarcities or like fears and doubts you know what I mean like and it's always along the lines of like stay like making you stray away from things that are like good or things that can like get you that reward or that recognition or that attention right it's always it's kind of like that person where let's say you have like a certain hairstyle that looks really really good on you right but for some reason whatever's going on you're kind of like insecure about it or you don't really like it and everyone like when you wear that hairstyle everyone's like oh my gosh wow that looks so good on you blah blah blah, blah. but for some reason you collective you're still not sure about it this would be the kind of person that'd be like oh no 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 don't wear it don't wear it. you don't want to wear that like just every time you when you wear it think about how it's gonna feel and like they'll like they'll pile doubt after doubt after doubt onto that that this is that that person but they're like making it seem like they're offering you with this false offer like they're offering you good advice or like they're there to like be that friend or that confidant or that family member like they're there to give you this advice or whatever it is like for to help you out but it's not you know if if you don't want someone around you that's going to like keep you in that small mindset all right and on top of that this could be the same people or person that it's like well if you're not going to wear that hairstyle because you feel some type of way whatever whatever in their mind they will wear that hairstyle because you're not wearing it so you they might as well wear it they might as well get that recognition that attention that you're not gonna you know what i mean it's like that anyway so this person is very insecure or they want you to be insecure
I also feel like this person needs you to be insecure. They need you to stray away from the limelight or um, they need you to not go after that promotion or they need you to not accept that like award or there's something like very awkward in terms of energy going on. Let's see what else comes out. Petty woman that came out. That's, yeah, I told you. This is a woman doing this. Hold on. So. <laughs> yeah, this is, that's a petty woman. There's a, there's a petty woman around you that's like trying to figure out what's. Like, what are you insecure about? Or what are you afraid about? What are you having doubts on? What are, Like, whatever it is so they can, like, feed into that. I don't know. It's like they want to feed into your insecurities to, like, get in. It's like they want you to get in your own way with your insecurities or your fears or your doubts or whatever this is. You not doing something is going to make this petty woman feel better. It makes them happy. It makes them feel good. This is somebody like, let's say, for example, like if you like a guy and but you're unsure because of maybe like you feel like he's out of your league or like a woman or you feel like she's out of your league or whatever the case it is. This will be the type of person that will be like, do you really want to go after that guy? Do you really want to go after that girl? Like, you know, think about all the drama or what if this happens or think about all that trouble, right? So then you don't. You don't go after that guy. You don't go after that girl. But what happens is that same person will be like, well, since you're not going to talk to her, since you're not going to talk to him, since you're not going to do that project, since you're not going to wear that outfit, can I? Would you mind if I did that? Be careful of that person. Okay, this is Wilma, baby. Here. Hold on one second. So, yeah, so this is the same person that's, like, hovering around you, trying to, like, convince you to not do something. So that way, when you don't do it, they're like, well, since you're not doing it, can I do it? But they, it's, be careful because an X, the letter X. Um, this could be... I'm getting two things. This is like either your ex or someone's ex. Not wanting you to be in some sort of like recognition, accolades, limelight, get an award or something. Because let's say if you're getting accolades, if you're getting recognition, if you're getting that award, that's going to put you like on the map or on the spot or have a spotlight or people are going to be congratulating you and it's going to get back to whoever she's trying to like hide you from yep. oh wow this petty woman is trying to hide you from someone wow so there's a petty woman that's insecure she wants you to be so insecure that you hide yourself from the world or a man or uh, an offer. Eco yeah, baby, that's a rock necklace. Rock? Necklace? Yeah, like she's trying to hide you from something. You being in the limelight, you strutting about, you. What is this? Can't help but stalk you came out. Um, this petty woman can't help but stalk you. So she's trying to convince you to not be in the limelight because you being in the limelight is going to put something into like. I'm not. Pers perspective or like yep. someone's gonna see you for who you really are because you're in a limelight you're getting recognition you're getting awards so this petty woman doesn't want whoever she's trying to hide you from to see that my nose is itchy so I it's like I'm on the nose that's you know that saying like you're on the nose like whatever is coming out like it's spot on and that is so funny. Like my, it's only like my right nostril that's like really, really itchy right now. This person is around you, stalking you, trying to hide you. 
because of how insecure they are, they don't want you to be seen. My nose is not itchy anymore. Yeah. She's trying to figure out how she can, like, hide you. But that's the thing. Like, if she was able to be like, oh, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Here. I And you're not listening to that anymore. And you're like, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go talk to that person. I'm going to go wear this outfit. I'm going to wear that hairstyle. I'm going to apply for that job. I'm going to go for that walk. I'm going to go on that trip. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to post that picture. There's nothing that this petty woman can do. Right? Because especially if you don't have those fears, anxieties, and those doubts, like, what can she feed on? She doesn't have that control. Nope. That maybe she, she, I don't know, there's something about that control that it went to her head. Help. Baby, that's it. That's how the dress goes. This is a Stone Age dress, right? This is how Wawa wore her dress. That's it. That's it. There's only one. She's wearing my um, Wama Flintstones dress from like a couple Halloweens ago. She was like Pebbles one um, Halloween. I was like Wilma Flintstones and her dad was Fred Flintstones. It was so cute. Oh no, she was like a little dinosaur. But she was like the dinosaur that was like hatching out of the egg. So, because it's just like a Flintstones theme. So she was like the little dinosaur. I was Wilma. <laughs> And her dad was Fred, and now she's like wearing my <laughs> Wilma costume. So yeah, um, this petty woman is trying to figure out how she can hide you. Yeah, my nose is itchy again. She's trying to figure out how she can hide you from a man or being recognized. Wow, look. I'm scared you'll find out about all the lies I've told. Yeah, this petty woman is stalking you and lying about you and she's afraid that like you're gonna find out about the lies that she's been telling about you this woman there's something about hiding in plain sight this woman has been doing this this is somebody who could have been doing this in your face for a long time or doing this to an ex of yours for a long time So, if there was a petty woman doing this to an ex of yours, trying to hide you, who you really are, trying to hide your light from an ex of yours, she can't do that anymore. Especially, like, if you're being, like, if this is in a workplace, your hard work is being recognized by your bosses, the higher-ups. That can't be hidden. Because the proof is in the pudding. Like, your, your hard work is, it speaks for itself. Whether this is a job, a community... Uh, whatever this is, it can't, it's, it can't be hidden anymore. Healing brings in love and happiness. So this is why this petty woman is stalking you and this is why all the lies that she's been saying about you is coming out and this is why, like, because in, in the dream, there was a woman that was saying, like, diet, 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 diet. And in my mind, I was like, maybe I should dye my hair because of all the attention that I'm getting. Like, it's not, it's a little uncomfortable, it's too much, blah, 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 right? So I was, like, trying to pick out the right hair dye, but for some reason, I just, like, no color matched. Like, I couldn't get the right hair dye. So it was like my hair was going to be stuck in, like, this golden yellow color. So you're not supposed to go back, collective. You're not supposed to go back. This person wants you to go back to hiding yourself and living under a rock. We got the letter R. Could be somebody's first, last, middle, initial, number of a word or a place. Or like they want you to run from your potential. You're, it's, you can't. Especially like if you've already done so much work. Like let's say you've done the project, you know, and it's perfect blah 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 you're getting recognition for the project that you've done you can't go back and say well I'm not I don't want to do any more projects because at that point your boss is like okay well you did great on this project here's another project here's another project here's another project you can't go back your hard work speaks for itself and it's it's making way for opportunities like your hard work is like showing your potential somebody wants you to hide from that and you can't oh this one
That was a, I think a fly. There goes that fly in the wall thing again. Like this is this person who's stalking you. They want to see. They want to. They're like wishing that they could be a fly in the wall. Like, what is the collective worried about today? What is the collective insecure about? What is the collective? And it's just because like if you're too out in the open, this ex or this masculine or whoever they're trying to hide you from, they it's it's whatever you're doing, it's getting to them. Like they're seeing it for themselves. So they can't like hide you from this person or this ex. It could be the fact that you're literally stepping into your potential and like doing, I don't know, whatever it is that you're doing and it, it's showing. Like, they can't hide the fact that you just became Employee of the Month because when you become Employee of the Month in, like, most companies, they have, like, your picture and they put it on the wall and they frame it with the saying, like, Employee of the Month. And whoever's walking by, they're going to see that picture frame of you saying Employee of the Month. So whoever's trying to hide that, they can't. And your picture is already up there. It says Employee of the Month. And if you're Employee of the Month, that means that you earned that. You deserved that. Your hard work is being recognized. You're obviously doing something right. And Gemini, on the fence. This person, healing person, let me have it. And Gemini, on the fence, it came out on the fence. It says, what you want to be known, what is believed about, use the quickest way. And somebody is trying to, like, cover their tracks real quick. They're trying to quickly do something about the lies that they've been telling about you. It has to do, like, they're trying to cover their tracks. What is believed about? If they were trying to get to people to believe certain things about you, it's like, I thought you said the collective would never tap into their potential, or I thought you said the collective does this, or I thought you said the collective do that, but, like, if the collective is lazy, how do they get employee of the month, right? What you want to be known. This, whatever this person wants people to believe about you. Oh, she's singing. Maybe at one point it was able to be believed about you. But it can't be believed about you anymore. That's why she's scared that all the lies that she's been telling about you, you're going to find out about. If it was easy, maybe, all right. So because of your insecurities, you were keeping yourself small and hiding and dimming your life, blah, 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 right? So whatever lies she was saying about you, of course it would be easy to believe because there's no proof. Like, you're nowhere to be found. You're nowhere to be seen. Like, you're not out in the open. You're not being recognized. You're not being congratulated. Where are your accolades, right? But because you're now, with your golden yellow hair, you're being seen. You're being noticed. It's like, I thought you said so-and-so about whatever, whatever about the collective. She can't get these lies to stick anymore. And then it says, information to explain, communications about, resulting from the fluctuations of... This woman has to explain herself, especially if she was lying to you to an ex. This ex is like, okay, well, explain yourself. Like, why would you say that? Why did you say that? This woman is finding it difficult to communicate with people. Like, people don't want to talk to her, resulting from the fluctuations of. This woman is also, like, up and down or back and forth, like, very flaky with what she's saying. It's like uh, her insecurities are, are really being shown as well. Like if she was saying, oh, I was just trying to say this to the collective so that way they can do this. Or I was just trying to help the collective. It's like not making any sense. Because you're saying that you said that to help the collective. But your actions were to hinder the collective. There's just, this woman is very back and forth. This could be a Gemini. There's something been coming out a lot lately about a karmic Gemini woman. Where did you get that? <laughs> it's a red time to fight crime at bedtime. I can't think of my rhyme. PJ masks. PJ masks. Mm, you want lemon water? Um, sour. <laughs> yeah, it is sour. Do you want to try it? Mm. It is sour. <laughs> it is sour. Please. So you do want to try it? 
Here. Ready? No? Yes? It is good for you. Um. All right. Please. No, 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 no. You're not going to blow out the candle just yet because Mommy's please, still using it. Mommy's please, still using please, it. No, please, baby. Mommy's please, still using it. Please, please. All right. So that's that. So um, this karmic Gemini is a petty woman. This petty woman is a Gemini. Or you could be a Gemini. But I feel like this petty woman, I, I, there's this thing. I've been hearing something about a, a karmic Gemini woman. Anyway, so she's got a lot of insecurities. Anyways, let's move on. Let me get one more and then I'm going to move on to tarot. Oh, that was easy. Can't help but stalk you in the eighth house. So you could be a Scorpio. So we've got Gemini and Scorpio here. Hold on. Listen. Don't break that. Um, as a life or death issue, getting and using power, use other people's resources. Can't help but stalk you. This woman, this petty woman, can't help but stalk you. Um, one of the things that she can't help but stalk is how you're able to attract things to you and how people are giving you things, whether it's resources, attention, money, uh, it can even be like food or whatever, whatever you're getting. Because the eighth house is about other people's resources, other people's money. So people could be giving you money or people could be giving you resources or you're just attracting these things to you. You could also be attracting power and utilizing it. It could also be your own potential. Like this person wanted you to run from your own potential, but like now you're like tapping into your own potential and using it as a life or death issue. This woman is stalking you as like, literally like as if her life depends on it. Because, and it's like the way you're operating, it's like either I tap into my potential or I don't. And I feel like that's your energy right now, like, transforming. Like, you literally went through a whole transformation with this 8th house energy. Like, that Scorpio energy. Like, getting rid of your old self to make way for the new, the growth, right? The, the fresh, the change. And so far, we've got Gemini and Scorpio out here. Yes, my love. Oh, she's right there. Yeah, this person, they're, they're stalking how easy things come to you, too. Use other people's resources, getting and using power. Alright, let me move on to tarot. Shit. A karmic Gemini female petty woman X. No, it can't be. Okay, so I'm going to get some tarot. Five of Wands. People are fighting with this woman.
Yeah, people are fighting with her. There was some there's something about a fire, like she kept lighting the fire, lighting the fire, lighting the fire, lighting the fire. And it's like it's gotten so big, it's like she can't put it out. And if she's like asking people, help me with this, help me with this, everyone's like, no. She started a fire. This this whoever this person is, they could have something like like a pyromaniac, but like I, I, I picked up on something like this before. Like whoever this person is, like they like to set things on fire. <laughs> Page of Cups reverse. This person is. They, they do this when they feel rejected. And if this person is feeling rejected by your ex, or like if they get rejected in general, they get really petty and they start arguing and fighting and bickering and like, they're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set your car on fire. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this or what, I don't know. They, they just, they do really petty things when they get rejected or when they feel rejected. Also, they were hoping that with the whole setting fire and the, it's getting bigger, 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 it was like a like a bonfire of lies or something. They were hoping that people would continuously stay gullible to whatever they were doing, especially when it comes to all these lies. They were really hoping that people would be gullible enough, and it's just like, it's hard to believe, like if you're lying to someone and saying, oh yeah, they never, they're lazy, they're lazy, they're lazy. All of a sudden, you collective, you have like an employee of the plaque, employee of the month plaque up on the wall where everyone who's walking by can see it. So now all of a sudden, didn't you say the collective was lazy? How is that? It's not adding up. It just doesn't make sense. How are you going to cover that lie up? Oh, well, I only really meant that they were lazy when it comes to this. Oh, and that's, that's a whole like... Um, communications about resulting from the fluctuations of like they keep going back on their lies and back on their lies and it's weird this is somebody who like they got caught doing something and they're like oh well no I only meant oh no well I only said it like oh well only because well that's not what I meant oh my god Seven of Wands. You're going to have to keep your guard up to this person because this person is stalking you. You're going to have to stand your ground to this person. You're also very protected from this person. I feel like at this point, your ancestors, spirits of the highest white leg, God, angels, all that good stuff, and all that dry is, they're not going to let you run away from your potential. Because at this point, it's like you're either in this or you're not. Nothing's going to like... I also feel like you're being given. You see how all of these people, they're holding wands? And in this deck, this woman, she's a high priestess in this deck. She's got, look, she's got the, she's got a wand in her hand too. And they're all holding wands. And it's like they're giving her magic. They're giving her power. They're giving her energy. Like you're being, and again, with that eighth house energy, using other people's resources. You're being given energy and power and resources and finances from like, Either other people or is that water for plants? Let me see. Can I see that? You're being given energy, power, resources. Yeah, I'll put this yeah. plant food. Okay. Is this gonna work for the? Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, yeah, by not just like from things out here, but like spiritually. And look, and it says getting and using power. It says it right there. Right here. 
getting and using power. And then here she is. Like, everybody's, like, they've got their wands up, and they're giving her, like, power and magic and finances and resources and all that stuff. And a lot of it has to do because you are in this energy. Healing brings in love and happiness. And this petty woman is, like, really PO'd about that. <laughs> Alright, let's see how long Okay, I guess I'll get a couple more cards And then I'll close the reading Okie dokie What time is it? Alright Ooh, we've got more Gemini, and then we have Leo. So we've got Gemini, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio. So we got the lovers and strength. Oh, maybe I should fix that lighting because it's a little. So we've got lovers and strength. Okie dokie. Let me get one more. I feel like if this petty woman is trying to pass herself off as like calm, cool, and collected, it's not working. Like there's cracks in her mask. You're also very balanced and very strong. You're stronger than this. You're too balanced for this. Like you're able you're you're able to easily overpower like whatever this petty woman is trying to do for whatever reason. The magician reverse. And that's what she's doing. She's like She's trying to make sure that you're not in this love and happiness and this energy where you're able to like receive power, receive resources, receive finances, receive like anything. This is what she's doing. But you're over... You're too balanced and you're stronger than this. This is like dark magic. So she's been... The dark magic that she's doing is like lying and gossiping and crap like that. She can't do that. It's not working. And a lot of it is like to make sure that you're not in that energy. You can over... You're overpowering this. I just heard you're, you can easily overpower this. And you're way too protected. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Your magic is way stronger than this. You're you're too powerful. You're too strong. These little lies are like chump change. It's, it's nothing compared to your power, your strength, how balanced you are, the love that you have for yourself. And the moon is on the bottom of the deck. There's something that she's keeping a secret about this petty woman. There's a secret she has. It, the secret could be that she dabbles in magic. Uh, like spell work and dark magic and candle magic and things like that. That's crazy because this would be the kind of person that you would never think. Right? Eight of Wands. Two of Swords. King of Swords reverse. This petty woman is a narcissist. I feel like whoever this one is with this Eight of Wands and a Two of Swords, she was so sure, and whatever it was that she was saying, like, this is the kind of person that like when if they're like gonna lie on someone they they believe it and it's like the way they're communicating the way they're saying it it sounds so real so believable so like with this eight of wands and two of swords I feel like that's also why you need to keep your guard up with this person be on guard because this person wants to come in and talk to you 
but it's crazy because like they're gonna make it seem that whatever they're talking about like it's real like it's the truth but this is you're gonna be talking to a narcissist it could be about money or uh, king of pentacles that's in your energy or they could be wanting to talk or this petty woman wants to come towards a king of pentacles and an empress like a couple Knights of Wands reverse, King of Wands upright. Yeah. I feel like at this point this is just like a desperate attempt. Because like nobody is listening to her, listening to her. You're not listening to her. She's like flip flopping. She's confused about like her own lies be confusing her. Like she forgot like what fire she put a flame to. Set fire to the flame. There's a song by that. This could be the kind of person that purposely kept um, two people apart with lies. Because now I'm getting that one song. Hold on. Now I got to look it up. Yeah, hold on. So the song is called Set Fire Set the Fire to the Third Bar and it's by Snow Patrol. And in miles from where you are, I lay down on the cold ground and I pray that something picks me up and sets me down in your warm arms. After I have traveled so far, we'd set the fire to the third bar. We'd share each other like an island until exhausted close our eyelids. This person purposely deliberately knowingly hid you from someone that you were supposed to be with and this person is not going to stop they're not going to let anything get in the way from being with you now that they can see where you are they know where you are because of your accolades or maybe they walked by a building and saw your picture saying employee of the month they're like oh my god that's where the collective is and now they're like going to talk to you whatever it is however it is this person that this petty woman was trying to find you or trying to hide you from, they found you. They know where you are, they see where you are, and they're not going to let anything stop you. And this petty woman is like freaking out because if this person comes towards you, that person is going to tell you all the lies that this petty woman has said. This petty woman that's closer than you think, who was, they could have been a friend or they just been around you for a long time. Anyways, so this is a reading. I hope it helps. Bye.